Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, 05 December. It's my second video in the morning. Uh, I guess typical Monday morning blues or not blues. I don't know. I've been up for a while. Maybe too much coffee, too little coffee. Um, in my first video, I talked a lot about an ostrich being fucked by a wildebeest. Um... I don't think I can get into graphic detail in the second one because that was kind of stream of consciousness. But we were talking about non-farms um, on Friday. We got fucked by dollar yen. Um, let's just have a look and see what happened here. Here's the hourlies, right? So bang, non-farms. Came in decent, right? It wasn't like a shock the world, but everyone was looking left. Everyone was expecting weak. Up to 136, effectively 135.98. Um, we started buying on the pullback. We grabbed some 35s. We sold some 65s. We grabbed some 40s. Sold some 55s. It had a pretty good average. Powder dry in case there was a move down to the figure. Um, and then, of course, we had cross yen on, which we'd had on all day. Uh, which had been wild, right? So we fucking ate this, these two red bars, early in the morning. Um, my stop was at 140.70, so pure fucking luck that I didn't fucking bang the lows. Uh, wore that, traded out of a lot of it up to 141.90, but then started getting back in full size again. Added through 142 the figure just after the fix, went up to 16, looked fine. I send that beautiful tweet out saying Euro Yen or Cross Yen has turned. It was like the kiss of fucking death. It was like the clown from It coming to hunt me down. Um, he got me. And then Euro Yen traded down to 40. We had to kill it at 75 basically just because of the dollar yen position end of the day we bought euro yen again half the size so like a little fucking castrated fucking punk ass position but we did get paid overnight and we squared this at the open and we're going to just put a little asterisk on the journal from Friday, right? So the journal on Friday after Friday's trading was a rant, a lot of red ink, a lot of swearing, um, a lot of colorful metaphors that shouldn't be said out loud. Uh, and now we'll have a little asterisk saying, well, still made a little bit of money, um, but it was Sunday night p &L that we're going to attribute to Friday and just start the week clean again. Anyway. There's the stories from the hysterical Friday and the idiotic fucking, sh you know, 10-year rates. Here's the 10-year, as you all know, bang, up to 64, down to 56, looked fine back at 62, and then looked very unfine back through 55. I mean, pillaged. Um, trade all the way down to 47 and a half. And here we are just treading water. Um, fucking with all the systematics, right? So if you're a systematic in dollar yen, you sold uh, through one. You sold through 134.50 the 200 day on Friday morning, and you pushed it all the way down to 133.60. We we're all like, "What the fuck? This is a little bit overextended, right?" Sure enough, you got fucking hosed over the number. Uh, Surely you had to stop out. It went 150 points against you uh, one hour after you put it on. But then you had to put the trade back on through 134.50. And now we're just sitting here like confused, right? 134.98. Um, that's a bit of a pop, I guess. Yeah. Yields are popping up a little bit here. Um, wow. That's a painful first bar here. Um, 7 a.m., 7, 10 a.m. London time. <laughs> Just fucking people left and right. Unbelievable. Of course, Euro Yen's higher and we're square again, but fuck that. Let's just move on. Uh, Aussie coming off here. Uh, the dollar is coming off here. Wow, this is a very different video than the video I just put up uh, 30 minutes ago. This first hourly bar is screwing with a lot of people. Um, Aussie back lower. We actually like Aussie to... 
continue higher, right? Um, we don't think rates are going to go right-hand side, but shit, if they do, don't fight this, right? Uh, but let's say rates below 350 and equities higher, Aussie should go higher. Um, 355 in the 10 year is the, is the bull bear for us. This was the bull bear. So this is 55 here, these highs here from from Friday above 55 we like rates higher below 55 we like rates lower but if you want to be cautious and careful obviously this high here 364 and then this low here 347 is going to resolve the you know I would call it the drunk Cirque du Soleil uh, that we had to witness on Friday, right? Grain alcohol and a bunch of acrobats climbing up poles and swinging on ropes and contorting themselves in ways that just don't look all that comfortable. Uh, that's kind of Friday. Anyway, 355 is your sort of intuitional uh, bull bear, but the real bull bear is 64 and 47. Dollar CAD. Um, got smacked because nothing happened in oil. Everyone agreed to buy oil at 60 bucks, and then the guy selling it at 60 told everyone to fuck off. Uh, that was quite good. Imagine how good it felt for Putin to give the bird or the wanker sign um, to the world. They're like, hey, mate, well, by the way, do you want? can we buy your oil at 60 bucks? Wintertime's coming. He's like, nah, fuck off. I wonder how you say fuck off in Russian. Um uh, that's a good word to probably learn. Um, this whole to-do list today. Dollar CAD goes left just because of weaker dollar. Now it's coming back right right now because rates are a little bit higher and people are getting squeezed here just a little bit. Euro on the day, uh, we think it's a buy. 135, 105.44 was the break up somewhere between 44 and say the figure uh, euro we, we expect euro dollar to hold in this region today cable no idea uh, this has totally fucked everybody we've been selling high ones for the last 10 days a couple of times it worked a couple of times it didn't work there's no real harm on the PL. just frustrating to be in that incredibly wrong directionally um, but you know that's part of the life in fx you got to be comfortable or never be comfortable being wrong, but just acceptance that you're going to be wrong sometimes. Just stop out and move on. Dollar yen we talked about. Dollar Swiss. Um, on Friday, we talked about how Dollar Swiss is not going to go left super easily down here. It's also probably not going to go right super easily down here. And so this might lead to Euro Swiss higher. So if Euro dollars bid and dollar Swiss is just dicking around. Euro Swiss might go higher. Now, as you know, we don't trade Euro Swiss too much, um, even though we do a lot of shopping in France and we live in Switzerland. So uh, that's weird, but that's just fact. 9890 is actually an interesting point, right? We've had all these highs here. This is 9895. This is 9891. This is 9890. Today we've printed 93. Um, if this were any other currency pair, we would be buying it through sort of 99, the figure, for a move to the right-hand side. There's some strong evidence that this is going to go right. When I say evidence, it's in my brain, uh, and this is based on my an you know, analysis. Um, evidence in FX is, is, a funny, is a funny word. Anyway, Euro Swiss right hand side today. Euro dollar and Euro Swiss right hand side. These are the focuses here. Euro sterling, we're not doing anything. Euro CAD. This has just been bid, right? So CAD takes it in the ass when 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 oil goes lower. Uh, it's been volatile, and Euro's in a bid phase. So this should continue, right? Before today, this was the CAD side getting fucked. Now this is the Euro side taking a little testosterone jab in the ass. Um, and so we, we, we think this can probably go up to 144. 
the mean reversion uh, systematic that we run, uh, where we're learning to run, has worked pretty well on Euro, EuroCAD. You just have to stay the course and, and believe, um, which sometimes is hard. But uh, today, you'd be a seller at 142.60. So I don't know, 90 points above here. CAD yen is like all the cross yens has turned. Um, it's turned less because it's CAD. But if you're comfortable with CAD, um, CAD yen and CAD Swiss have turned. CAD Swiss is the lower vol version of Euro CAD. Kiwi, we like this higher, uh, although this is a turn bar here, this four hourly thing. But we do think, we don't expect rates to explode higher today. Although ISM services, every, <laughs> every minute this thing goes a little bit higher, 353.9. Uh, ISM services today at 4 o'clock, super important. I mean, imagine if that comes out hot. Fuck. It'll be like whipsaw. It's like fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, my, my. Anyway, um, keep an eye on that. Dollars are. We've got fraud. We've got intrigue. We've got political ennui. Um, I don't even know if that word works there. Uh, we haven't traded this since we've been back in FX, but man, the vol's been exquisite, right? But now we're back in the middle of this, you know, confounding news-driven range. Nothing to do at 1734. Dollar Mex, on the other hand, uh, just technically this chart, 1946, if crude starts banging left and rates do go right, this is... A nice technical setup so you have three things you got crude left you need rates right and then you need probably good liquidity uh, but through 1946 is interesting gold through the roof we didn't buy any of this we missed this whole thing we talked about buying it on one of these morning things around 1630 but we, we were not trading gold right now in fact we rarely trade gold um, maybe five six times a year but gold, bullish, wow. Uh, and this is usually tip. This is usually just evidence based that the dollar is 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 weaker. So gold is sort of on that route. Dollar China, same thing. Bang, seven twenty five to six ninety five. Over the weekend, China is loosening up uh, their little COVID things. So this should help uh, CNH, Aussie, and Kiwi. Anyway, I've said a lot. But I've said a little, this is my second video, because the first one, I didn't have the volume on, like, like a retard. Um, not supposed to say that word, retard, don't say retard. Um, anyway, I've said enough, uh, good luck today, people, make some dough, you deserve it, catch you tomorrow, ciao.